Hey guys, so here's a short little video to show you the house from Halloween 5. This is the Michael Myers house in Halloween 5. It is so cool. Um, I'll run the scene. It's a really quick scene. It's when um, Dr. Loomis comes over to find Michael. But um, the house really looked um, like crazy in the movie. It didn't even look anything like this. They made it look like abandoned and just like it hadn't been touched in years. So <sighs> I, this is just so cool. It's such a beautiful house. It's been colored a few times. Like I think the last time I saw it, it had like, like a pink color to it or something and purple. Um, so now it's like this, oh, it is kind of still purple. It's like purple and yellow now. So, so cool. <laughs> That is wild. Um, I think in the scene, it's like this, they do this cool little camera trick where like the camera does like, like kind of spins or something and then it shows the house from the front. And it's like um, kind of angles downward and goes up a little bit. You can't see the 100 in there at some point, but I think it's like a, like a shot that goes like this and it never really shows the whole the full house like you never really see the whole thing um it's kind of like more like that or something and you can just picture it looking crazy there's also a scene when all the cops show up i i think you do see the street at some point and they show the curve i don't know if the curve was over here or over there i gotta look at the scene real quick and try to recreate it but yeah this is the house <laughs> i don't want to bother too much but I wanted to show you guys the house. Oh my god, it's so pretty. The scene I'm talking about is later on in the movie, and I think the camera angle is down here. You can see like these lines right here in the shot, and I think you see this wall right here. Um, but I think it's when the cop shows up and pulls up or something to the house. But yeah, you do notice this stuff right here. Um, so I just kind of wanted to get that shot. The shot might be more over here. I moved back a little bit more, but maybe like here. So yeah, you see a cop car either, I think it's going in. And then the next scene, I think it's shot on the street over here. Let me see. I think it's shot like here on the street, like right here maybe. And there's a bunch of cops here and stuff and they're all kind of like huddling and talking and you know doing their police work and then they show Dr. Loomis up on the stairs right here like a close-up shot like right there um, and that's towards the end and then that other scene I was talking about I'm gonna try to recreate that too see if I can the get shot it. was probably with maybe there was a tree right here but they're showing the sky you can see the tree and then the camera kind of goes down and shows the house and Dr. Loomis goes inside. And I think they do like a close-up shot. I don't think you see the whole thing, but maybe about there or so. And that's it. And he goes inside. By the way, look at this house. Look at that top thing up there. That is so pretty. All right, I gotta get going. So it's a little too dark now, but this is the Strode house, Lori Strode house from Halloween 6. Sorry, it's just way too dark now. All right, I'm gonna go because it's just too dark. So even though this is a short video, I wanted to put it out there because I did notice like maybe a comment or two asking about Halloween 5 and 6. The day that I did Halloween 4 is when I attempted to see at least the houses from 5 and 6 and 
I did the house from five while I was in Salt Lake City before making it out to the crash scene, you know, the bridge, and that was far away. So I, during the middle of the day, I was like, okay, I need to stop what I'm doing, go to the bridge, and then get back to Salt Lake City to do the school. By the time I finished the school and went to the house from six, it was too dark. So I apologize about that. And I'm not sure if you guys are aware, um, but when, you, when you're seeing me alone doing filming locations and I'm saying that I don't have a lot of time to do it, it's because usually I'm on a work trip. I'm on a work trip today. I am in Salt Lake City. I was gonna get up this, this morning at five and get ready to go get the rental car to try to do the rest of the filming locations for four that I didn't get to. But by the time we made it to the hotel last night after work, it was past midnight. I didn't fall asleep until maybe 1.30 or 2. I had to get up at 5 to pick up the car at 6, and I just couldn't get up. I was very tired. So I decided to cancel the rental car and just rest. But I wanted to put this video out there because, you know, like I said, I did get questions about five and six and that was all I was able to get to. Eventually I do want to finish four um, and do whatever I can of five and six, but I don't want to do it by myself. Today I was going to attempt to do that, but I was only going to go to locations that were safe enough for me to go by myself to. But if I'm just going to go just to get a few and then have to come back again some other time when I have someone with me to finish it. I said, you know what, it's better that I just wait until my boyfriend has the time and we can plan a trip here to Salt Lake City and do all of four, five, and six as much as we can. And I think that's the best bet. So um, I can't tell you when that's gonna be. We have to plan that out. It's not gonna be any time this year. So we'll probably plan it next year. He wants to go skiing, so it might be like a ski trip slash Halloween filming locations. Um, but that's it. I just wanted to explain that to you guys and let you know that it's, it's really difficult for me to do filming locations when I'm on a work trip. I'm usually exhausted from flying all day and then having to go back to the airport to pick up the car rental, f drive all day, go back to the airport, return the car, get a ride back to the hotel, try to sleep, you know, at a decent time to get up at like, so to today, basically, cause it's gonna be, or I should say tomorrow, I have to be up at 3.30 in the morning so that I could be ready by four, um, 4.30. I like to give myself an hour. So it's it's a lot that I take on when I'm doing a filming location during a work trip. So I just want to let you guys know that so that you guys are patient with me when you see me doing these filming locations while I'm at work because it's it's a lot. But anyways, that's it. Um, I have seen your comments coming in. Sorry that I haven't been able to respond. I'm going to do that soon. And um, I'm going to keep, uh, sorry, I'm going to keep um, editing some videos that I have left for you guys. And that's it. I hope everyone's doing well. Thank you so much for watching and all the likes. Don't forget to subscribe if you never subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. All right, bye.